Hey guys, this is Parker Doman, the Longhorn Engineer, and I just finished the uh, 16 by 16 LED matrix test using the FPGA. The propeller was not fast enough to uh, push the uh, old bits necessary for the whole uh, dot matrix display, which will be 16 by 96 bits. But the FPGA is plenty fast to uh, be able to uh, push that refresh rate. I actually had to slow down the refresh rate because it was going so fast that these uh, transistor arrays were uh, not working correctly because it was switching too fast. So, I have some, uh, let's see if I can, some Verilog code that one of my friends, Marshall, helped me write. You'll be able to find the code in the uh, description of the video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just program this. Let's see if we'll open up the programmer and then start. That should make a nice display. You might see a little flickering due to the refresh rate of the camera, but there is no flickering in the uh, in real life. So yeah, so it displays an XOR pattern, and basically just just proves that it's uh, actually doing the matrix matrixing correctly. Yeah, it actually works really nice. Um, basically. Uh, see how this uh, FPGA has more banks of I.O. and so all these other banks will be connected to the older columns so that you can control a 96 by 12 uh, 96 by 16 display oh and powering it is my you know power supply that's over there so works pretty good it's much much faster than the uh, propeller in terms of matrixing. I'm when it was running straight off the uh, 50 megahertz clock, which is right here. Um, it was actually refreshing the display at over 3 megahertz, which is way too fast apparently for these chips. Um, I actually don't know how fast it's up updated now. It's probably about 2 kilohertz, which you know, as long as you're above 60 hertz, it's fine. But yeah, looks pretty good. So I'm going to probably uh, work a bit more on the code and get a better uh, demo of the of the uh, display. And the uh, propeller that controls the main uh, part of the uh, code is actually going to serially feed in the data that will be displayed on this screen. And so I got to work on that code and make sure all that works before I order the uh, PCB for the whole dot matrix display. Well, till next time, guys.